Hello there, fellow educators. Are you looking for ways to enhance your teaching materials and make them more visually appealing to your students? Are you struggling to find the time to create engaging images for your lessons and presentations? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to create beautiful and striking AI generated imagery in just minutes. And make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to be giving away a free downloadable step by step written guide that also includes a comprehensive prompt list to get you creating stunning images in literally minutes. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I used to be a full-time freelance illustrator and I combined traditional and digital media like ink and watercolors with digital media, photographs, texture scans, and Photoshop. I even got featured in a couple of illustration books. But these days with work, family, and my channel commitments, I just don't get much free time to create illustrations these days. A few weeks ago, I did post some new images on my LinkedIn page and I got lots of interest and requests to purchase. And I even got them up and selling on my Redbubble store. But I need to let you in on a little secret. All of the images were AI generated. It's true. They're completely computer generated from a few simple prompts in the AI image generator mid journey. Now, AI generated imagery poses some fundamental questions about creativity, authorship, and how we we'll respond to this new technology as educators, which I'll be discussing in an upcoming YouTube Live. But for this video, I'm going to cover how to get started with Mid Journey and show you exactly how you can be creating stunning imagery yourself. You know by now that on this channel, I try and focus on free software. And with Mid Journey, you do get a free trial period where you can create around 25 images before you meet a paywall. So use this guide to help you get the most out of the free trial. And if you're ready, let's jump in. Mid Journey's got the ability to create images in a variety of styles from screen prints and collages to hyper realistic photos and 3D renders, all from your own text prompt basically a written description of what you want to create. Midjourney works entirely on the Discord chat platform, so you'll need an account there to use Midjourney. Just head over to discord.com and sign up for the free account. Next, visit the Midjourney website. Here, choose Join the Beta. This will automatically take you to a Discord invite. Accept the Discord invite to Midjourney and choose Continue to Discord. Once you've joined the Discord app, select the ship like Mid Journey icon on the left menu. You're now in the Mid Journey channels. Don't worry if this looks a bit overwhelming, it's pretty straightforward once you get going. If you're using the free trial, locate the newcomer rooms in the Mid Journey channels. There'll usually be a number of newcomer rooms open with names like Newbies41. You can select any of those to begin. You can see the chat feed of different images the Mid Journey community is generating in this channel right now. So we're going to create our first image prompt for Mid Journey to generate our image from. You can create around 25 free images, and after that, you'll need to purchase a full membership to continue. So have a think about what it is you want to create first. To create an image, you start with typing forward slash imagine in the Discord chat. This will create a prompt field where you can type the image description. The more precise that you can be with your description, the better the AI will be to be able to produce good results. Be descriptive, and if there's a particular style that you're looking for, include it in your description. I've created a Mid Journey prompt guide video here, and there's a downloadable guide in the description for this video below, or use this QR code. It's got the full guide and prompts for you to try. When you've finished crafting your prompt, select Enter to set Mid Journey to work. As you'll see, with all of the activity in this channel, you'll quickly lose your place in the stack of results. So the easiest way to find your image is to choose the inbox icon here to see your most recent images. Okay, so Mid Journey creates a grid of four versions of your images. You now have a number of options to continue. Look below the images and you'll see a selection of U and V buttons. The numbers correspond with the four images that Mid Journey produced. One, two, three, and four. Choosing U will upscale that particular image into a larger version. So I could upscale image 2 here. And choosing V will create a brand new image based on the image you choose. Here's a selection of recent images I've been playing around with and the prompts that go with them. And please do me a massive favour. If you find this video useful, could you please subscribe to the channel? It gives me a massive boost 
and it lets me know that I should still be creating content.